summer break is quickly winding down and that means we have to think about back to school things like if your child is a bus rider, you want to make sure you get them registered. Shannon is here from College Station ISD. Very bittersweet time because the summer has flown by, but we need to start making those plans to get our kiddos what they need for the first day of school, including uh, registering them now for getting on those buses. Tell us what the process is like. Well, it's actually really easy. If they just go to CSISD.org, um, there's a link that they can click on and it's actually a Google form. They can fill out the Google form if they'll do one for every student that they have because different students go to different campuses, they're in different grades. Um, it really does help us to be able to figure out who needs to be where if we need more buses in one area and then in another area. It just helps us to be prepared for the first day. And the school district is growing quite well. It, you have growth in different mm -hmm. parts of College Station where maybe you're not used to seeing, but so it's important to take all of that into account that uh, parents may not see it, but y'all certainly do. Absolutely. You know, it's one thing for a campus to only have to worry about their 400 students, but we have to worry for about the 5,000 that have to ride. So we want to make sure everyone who is eligible that they have a bus for the first day, and we try to do it as best as we can. So we are definitely making sure they're safe, making sure that they're there in a timely manner. Everything counts when, when we do early registration. It just makes everything flow so much better. For and the first day. Um, what kind of, when will parents find out that information about they've done the registration process? What When do they get to hear back about what bus their child needs to get on? Well, the awesome thing is, is that we actually have a new system in place. It's a software system called TransFinder. On TransFinder, we have an app. It's called Stop Finder. Once they register for school, they will get a notification to go and download the app, and they can actually see their bus stop, their bus times, all that information for every student. So it's really crucial that they go and register so we can make sure that they get that link and, and they're able to have that app and they can see all that information. We can also push out notifications. So if a bus is running late, because you know the first couple of days of school are a little bit crazy. Yes. <laughs> so if we can push those things out and just make sure everyone is on the same page, it's just so much better. I love that and as a parent, I know uh, it can be a little nerve wracking to put your little ones on the bus yes. and, and not be near them period but uh, great information there of course we'll make sure to link their Google form uh, with this web story Shannon thank you we hope you have a Thanks fabulous so super smooth school year yes ma'am thank <laughs> you for having me thanks for being here